Welcome to Mongo's Library channel, and today I'll show how to connect to AWS IoT. I will be using an STM32 development board in this video, but any other hardware or even a workstation like Windows or Unix or Mac will also work. I'll be using Mongo's Wizard, and first create a default MQTT only application with it. I click on Settings, and disable everything but MQTT. As you see, the default MQTT application here uses a public HiveMQ MQTT server. I click on the Code tab and select my board from the list. I select Cube ID and FreeRTOS. Click on Sync to download the project locally and import this project into the Cube IDE. Select File Import, Existing Project and I select a directory where I synchronize the project. Click on Finish, and here is my project. I click on Build, and Flash. So the firmware gets flashed to my development board. Now I connect Serial Console, I reboot the board, and see debug logs. Here I can see that we successfully connected to HiveMQ Broker. Let's test it quickly. We go to HiveMQ.com, select MQTT, public MQTT broker, and connect to the browser client. Click Connect. And now we can subscribe and publish to topics. But let's see first where our device is connected to. We go to Code, Open Core, Source, MongooseGlue.c. And we can see that this generated glue code contains init function, MQTT Connect Handler, MQTT Message Handler, and MQTT Connect Routine. We can see that when our device connects to the MQTT server, it subscribes to device one slash Rx topic. And when it gets the message, it responds to device one TX topic. Let's change those topics from device one to device one to three, just to avoid any clashes with possible existing clients. Reflash this. And on public MQTT broker, subscribe to device 123 slash hash and publish to device 123 slash rx. Message hi. Click on publish. And we can see a message to the rx topic and the response from our device to device 123 tx topic. Now let's make exactly this functionality work with AWS IoT. So what do we need to change in our code? First of all, we need to change the URL here. And instead of HiveMQ, we need to use AWS IoT. And secondly, when we connect to AWS IoT, we need to set up TLS. And the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that are described in the existing examples. Open Mongoose GitHub repository, click on Tutorials, MQTT, MQTT Client AWS IoT, and here click on main.c. And these are the instructions that we are going to follow. Step number one, log into AWS IoT. Step number two, click Settings on the left bar, copy the domain, and change the URL. I find Settings here. Click on View Domain Configuration and copy this endpoint name. I go to the code and change this URL to MQTTS and the endpoint name. In your case, obviously, it will be different. Now, next step. Click on Security Policies Create Policy and fill in the fields. I click on Security, Policies. There are no policies currently. Create Policy. I tap Policy Allow, Policy Effect Allow, Policy Action Star means everything, and Policy Resource Star means everything. And I click Create. So I've created the permissive policy. Step number four, create elliptic curve private key file and CSR, Certificate Signing Request, by typing Make CSR, see the make file. So let's take a look what's in the make file. And here's the CSR target. 
So it executes two open SSL commands. First creates the elliptic curve private key, and the second one creates the certificate sign request. So let's execute these two commands. So I stop serial monitor for now, execute the first command to create private key, and the second command to create CSR file. Step number five, create certificate. So click security certificates, add certificate. So I click on certificates, add certificate, create certificate. And here I choose create certificate with certificate signing request. Upload the CSR file that we just generated. Click on active to activate certificate straight away. Click on create. And here AWS IoT created a certificate for us. We need to download these two files, device certificate and Amazon root CA1. The generated certificate now appears in the certificates list. And the last thing we need to do is to attach the policy to it. Click on the certificate, choose attach policies, choose our policy and click on attach policy. Now we need to copy the downloaded certificates to the project directory as ca.pm and crt.pm. Okay, now in a project directory, we have all three files, ca.pm to authenticate Amazon and key.pm plus crt.pm to authenticate us. Since AWS IoT uses so-called two-way TLS authentication. Storing certificate files as well as updating them is part of a big problem of certificate management and I won't even touch it in this video. And so for simplicity, I'll just hard code certificates directly into the source. I copy paste the content of all three files into the source and then I quote all the lines to turn them into string constants. So in the end, I will have three defines, TLS underscore CA, TLS underscore key, and TLS underscore CRT, each expanding into the string with the corresponding file data. And we need to change TLS init sequence to specify all these three certificates. Then I need to add opts.name attribute to TLS options to enable hostname verification. Then I need to move MQTT endpoint name to mongooseglue.h as wizard MQTT URL constant. And now we are finally ready to rebuild and reflash the project. I start serial monitor again. And now in the logs, I see that we are successfully connected. I go to AWS IoT console, click on MQTT test client, subscribe to device123 slash hash topic, and then publish to device123 slash rx topic. And then we can see that we've got a response. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.